My Silly Dogs by Bucky Montgomery. Dedicated to Granny. This is Fred. He lives down the street. He keeps his grass and flowers neat. He also keeps some dogs around to keep him up when he feels down. This dog keeps his nose in the air. He thinks he's so cool, none other compares. His name is Ted and he is red. His hat is not upon his head, cause that's the hat he wears to bed. The sleepiest dog I've ever seen lives with Fred too, and he is green. One dog, two dogs stuck in a log. What are they gonna do? Well, they'd like it a lot if you'd give it a shot and count their heads. One, two. Can you imagine what is worse than two dogs stuck in a log? It's Fred's dog, Troublesome Richard, who plays in the pond like a frog. The pink dog is short. The blue dog is tall. Buford, you haven't touched your spinach at all. Maybe that's why you are so small. Oh no, Richard is a bad dog indeed. He's always involved in some dirty deed. Richard, you better watch what you do. Your bad ways are gonna catch up to you. One old hound looked around to see what was making such a horrible sound. It's five howling poodles up on the stage. They sound so awful. Hurry, turn the page. Bruno is big. Uh, Dixie is little. Most of Fred's dogs are right in the middle. Dixie is scolding Bruno, uh, you see, because Bruno drank Dixie's glass of iced tea. Today is a special day for Fred and his dogs. They just got a new little baby. This little blue puppy, as cute as can be, might grow up just like Bruno. Well, maybe. The orange dog is skinny. The purple dog is fat. The seesaw is not working. What can Fred do about that? Richard, can't you be a good boy for me? Why are you always so naughty? Asked Fred. Now you have cracked my garden wall and put a big knot on your head. Fred has a cat. Her name is Beth. Most of the time she's scared to death. She hides on the refrigerator all day long because the dogs won't stay where they belong. With so many playful dogs running around, Fred's poor spotted cat won't dare come down. There is more fun things for you to see. Come see a show, a show that is free. This pink dog dances and wears a hat. He's a magician, a juggler, and an acrobat. Ted was relaxing and enjoying a show. He liked it so much, he didn't even know that Richard was behind him. What a bad fellow. Richard has painted Ted's four paws bright yellow. Soon it was nine and Fred was tired, so he decided to hit the sack. The chores were done, the dogs were fed and put in their houses out back. But to his surprise, before his big eyes, he came upon Richard and Ted. What made him so grim? There was no room for him inside his warm, snuggly bed. Richard had made plans for a big slumber party. He invited all his cousins and brothers. Three white mutts popped out to join in the fun. Richard told them that there would be others. A black terrier named Scotty soon came along. And another a brown mongrel named King Kubla Kong. Ted couldn't take it. 
Not anymore. Not since they squeezed him out on the floor. Ted wasn't gone long. He didn't go far. He went to get his orange guitar. He jumped up and down. He sang them a song. But the chords were all bad, and the words were sung wrong. The dogs couldn't stand it. Uh, neither could Fred. But 23 dogs climbed out of that bed. Some were slightly angry, some were really mad. But it has to be said quite frankly, Fred was truly glad. Fred had dreams of cats and snails and candy and popcorn and buckets of nails of toasters and numbers and green toady frogs. But his favorite dreams were of his silly dogs. The end.